this sugar plant in eastern Uganda produces ethanol out of cane waste. Its ethanol distillery is one of the largest in the country, producing about 20 million liters per year. It's one of plants that's been licensed by the government to produce ethanol that will be blended with petrol. We then saw that there is another byproduct in sugar, which is molasses. And we have now commissioned a state-of-the-art distillery, which actually produces ethanol and extra-neutral alcohol. The ethanol is produced from this molasses, can be used in vehicles. So if you go to Europe, you go to the United States, you go to China, you go to all these countries, they do use ethanol as a mix to petrol. It is again a renewable energy. Ethanol can significantly reduce greenhouse emissions by up to 50 percent. Apart from sugarcane, ethanol can also be produced from other crops like maize, millet or sorghum waste. It's one of the reasons Uganda is now using it as a clean energy raw material for its fuel products. Initial blending ratio uh, will be 5 percent and this is in accordance with the regulations that we enacted in 2022. We will begin with 5 percent ethanol blending and we are blending PMS, <coughs> petroleum metal spirit or petrol. Processing centers located at border points have been set up for ethanol blending. For now, Uganda imports all its fuel products, but that will stop when its oil production starts next year. Oil companies have been asked to embrace the new development and support the smooth rollout of the biofuel across the country. If we are exempting tax, if we are introducing a 5% into the product, which 5% is cheaper, definitely we expect the prices to be friendly. With Uganda gearing up to produce its first oil by mid-2026, biofuel is seen as a major step to a greener economy. Isabel Nakiria, CGTN Kampala, Uganda.